what's cracking, it is your girl, Lillian Francis. Ableton 12 is finally out and I'm doing a series of videos to look at our different MIDI tools that are being incorporated into Live 12. And specifically today, we're gonna to be looking at the generative MIDI tools. With these generative MIDI tools, Ableton now has a bunch of options for essentially spontaneously creating new rhythms and melodies and lots of creative ideas. So let's go ahead and dive right in. <gasps> Splash. All right, y'all, welcome to Ableton 12. This is what she looks like, y'all. She beautiful. Let's hop into a MIDI clip and see what's up. So I created this quick little drum groove for you guys. Just a kick and a snare and a hi-hat. Excellent. Okay, so now you can see that in our clip view, we now have these three sections that we did not necessarily have before. This is our pitch and time utilities. Here we have our MIDI transformation tools, and then we have our generative MIDI tools right here. And we have four different generative MIDI tools. We have rhythm, seed, shape, and stacks. So let's look into rhythm first. Rhythm is going to essentially create new rhythms for us without us having to do really anything. It's kind of awesome. All right, so here's what you do, y'all. We're gonna start by just fiddling with some of these numbers. Knobs. So let's bring steps up, bring up our density, which is going to create more notes inside of our clip. And then we can choose between a bunch of different patterns. Now, the higher up we have steps, the more pattern options that we see. Look at all those pattern options. Holy crap. Wow. All right, let's bring steps down a little bit. Now let's give this a listen. Yeah, so the possibilities are endless. We can go ahead and change the step duration. Right now it's set to eighth notes, but we can bring it down if we want some faster hats. Yeah, and then we have this split button right here, which is the percent chance that our note is gonna get split in half. So if we bring it all the way down, we're just gonna stick with the notes that we had originally. But if we bring this up, they're gonna start splitting in half and you have more of a chance of getting that kind of fast little roll. We also have the shift button here if you want to move the pattern to the left or the right. Here we have an option to set the minimum and maximum values for velocity. So if you want a lesser velocity, you can bring these down. And you can bring them up if you want them hotter. And then frequency here is the number of notes that occur before we have an accented velocity note. So at zero, we never have one. At one, you're gonna have one note and then accented velocity. And then you see it's gonna be the third note and then every four notes, every fifth note, etc. So essentially the number of notes you have before the accented note. I'm very excited about this feature because it <laughs> can do the creativity for me and you can go ahead and just scan through so many different ideas. Having professional sounding music is all about having movement over time and this makes it so easy to just create variation within your drums and within your melodies as well. All right, cool. On to our next generative MIDI tool, which is going to be Seed. So let's go ahead and we're going to use this melody track that I've pulled up. We just have a wavetable here. Let's create a new MIDI clip, shift command M, and hop into a seed in our drop down menu here. So, seed is gonna generate random MIDI notes based on the pitch duration and velocity that we set. So, as soon as I start moving this pitch, it's going to create a MIDI sequence like you just saw at the pitch that I've selected. Now, if I select a different area in pitch, it's going to create a range. Aha. So now we've created a range from E2 to E4, and we just have these like random notes. Live 12 is scale aware, which means that we have this scale set to C major, and all of the notes that are getting added are automatically given in C major. Yes. Whoa, okay. Right off the bat, there's some like melodies that I'm really into. And some that I'm not, like this note, that's very dissonant. Yeah, there you go. So, I mean, this can make cool shit, but then you have to go through and decide what you like and what you don't like. That's kind of cool, I can fuck with that. All right, sweet. Now we have our duration here, which is going to change how long our notes are, anywhere from a 64th note to a half note. Cool, and we also have options to change the velocity, which you can see changing down there. You'll notice we also have the voices option here. So if we bring this down to one, you're only gonna hear one note at a time. 
Cool, and then you have density here, which you can bring up and down. But in order for this to actually work, you do have to hit Command A, select all of them, and then bring the density down. Or else it'll just make more and more notes. It's more like just generating ideas and then seeing how they turn out and seeing if there are certain little flourishes here and there that sound good that you can use in your productions. Or if you're making like weird ambient electronic-y space music, then this is perfect for you. All right, let's go on to the next one, which is shape. And in order to look into that one, we're going to hop into this bass track right here. Shift Command M, create a new MIDI clip, and let's hop over into shape. All right, so what shape does is it's essentially going to create a MIDI sequence with the shape that we give it, okay? So check this out. If I'm just to draw a shape down here, it's gonna create a bunch of notes. And right now I have the rate set to grid, but if I change the rate, it can become a quarter note grid, sixth note grid, eighth note, twelfth note, etc. And as I change the shape of my drawing, it's going to change the pitches. Now, right now it doesn't have a ton of variation up and down. So what we can do is we can bring up this pitch so that it's going anywhere from A1 to like maybe B2, something like that. So now it's really it's being changed. Cool. So we can also change it from user where we're drawing our own and switch it over to flat, up, up, down, etc. Let's try it. arc up. Yeah, and you can go ahead and change the rate on this if you want it to be faster. You can change the tie, which is how likely that one note is going to essentially bleed and blend into the next one. So it kind of gives you more of a variation on note lengths. You can change the density if you want less or more. And you can change the jitter if you want the pattern that we've set here to be a little bit looser, right? So the tighter the jitter, the more it's gonna reflect the shape that we have here. And the higher the jitter, the more it's gonna be a little random. All right, let's bring up the density a little bit. Cool, so there's some kind of fun ideas in there. And I might take that first part and just duplicate it so we have that twice. Music is repetition, so if you do something once, it's weird, but if you hear it twice, it's music, guys. I think it's fun to use this when you're trying to mix stuff up or maybe if you want just a different variation of note lengths or you want to just try something new and kind of see what happens. This is a fun way to do it. All right, cool. Let's look into our next one, which is stacks. And in order to do that, we're going to go ahead and go into this pad that we have here, create a new MIDI clip, shift command M and let's hop over into stacks. All right. So stacks, what it does is it's going to auto generate chords for us, which is really fucking cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to click and drag up and down within this little box here. And as soon as we drag, it's going to create a new chord. Now the chord that we've created here, I can see in the bottom left is a C major seven sus four over F. So that means that it's in first inversion. We brought this down to zero, C major seven, sus four. It shows you what scale degrees we're using and also shows us what notes are being used. So you can go ahead and choose the root note and then just choose the different variation that you want. If we drag this all the way down, it's gonna start on C major, but then you're gonna see, we have C six, C major seven, and C nine. Fun, I kinda like all those. What we can do is we can take this, bring them back, and I can switch this over just to normal C. And then I can make the next one a C6. Make the next one a C major seven. Make the next one a C nine. There you go. Cool. And then maybe I want to add some new chords with the root of G. So I can duplicate this, make the root G2, and scroll through some different chords. Sure, we'll do that. Sure. Sure. And then we'll make it back to like an F in the root maybe. Okay, I think that could use a little bit of work, but uh, you guys get the picture. This is 
So cool. Stacks is one of my absolute favorite updates in Ableton 12. So lots of room for fun here. All right, guys, so those are our new generative MIDI tools in Ableton 12. I hope you like them. I hope you have fun with them, and I hope they inspire some new creativity and just make making music more fun. So let me know below which one you guys are most excited about. I would love to know what's soaking you guys out with the new update. And if you guys wanna learn more about the new MIDI tools in Ableton, I also made a video on the transformation tools as well as on the pitch and time utilities. So go ahead and check those out. All right, y'all, see you next time.